Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video, I'll be reviewing this LE Tech vacuum pump right here. What we are looking at here is a solid quality 7 CFM two stage vacuum pump, complete with a digital display and a built in micron gauge, which I think is awesome. I love the idea of having the micron gauge built into the vacuum pump. And that's why we only have one port up on top over here not two ports like most other pumps have. And it doesn't have a little gas ballast either that you have to open up or adjust. It just simply has an exhaust cap that you take off before you turn the pump on. When the pump arrived, I also found two bottles of oil in the box as well, and I already poured that in. And as you can see, the oil level is between the minimum and the maximum, which is good. In the back, we have the power button and the oil plug over here, which is, kind of placed in a bad spot right next to a display. So your fingers, you know, it's a tight fit. Your knuckles always hit this display. It makes it a little bit harder to get the plug out, which I find slightly annoying. It's not a deal breaker, but I wish they would have placed that a little bit better. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see what kind of features it has built in. This is what the home screen looks like. And if you click on measure, by the way, one thing I really like is that the screen is really sensitive. On some HVAC tools that have the touch screen, you have to almost stab it in order for it to register. This one, you just lightly tap and it registers right away. I really like that they made this sensitive. So if you go on measure, it just shows you the status of the pump. So motor status is obviously off on stop. It also shows you the motor temp and the oil temp. This pump has sensors inside of it. So if the motor or the oil overheats, if it gets over 176 degrees, the pump will shut off. And when the pump is running, your micron reading will be shown right here and your estimated end time will be shown right over here. So let's return back to home. The second icon is the graph. This just gives you a graph readout of the vacuum progress. So as the pump is running, the graph will go down depicting what the progress is like inside of the system that you're evacuating. So this is in thousands, you got 54,000 microns, 45, 35, 27, so on, so on, so on. And this is seconds. So the graph will go down as the pump is running. So that's kind of neat. Let's go back home. You got the settings. And here you got many options besides microns in which units you want to measure this in. So you can select any of these, but of course the most common is micron. The temperature, if you go to the vacuum tab, here you have the minimum vacuum. There's one more little complaint I have. This is just slightly annoying and it's actually not that big of a deal because you're probably not gonna adjust this too often, but I wish they had like a bottom arrow and a top arrow, not just the top one. Because with the top one, let's say you wanted to adjust this and you went too far, you actually have to keep going all the way, you know, click, 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 click before you can get back to the one that you want. Um, it would have been nice to just have the two arrows, but once again, this is, this is no biggie. Let's go back to 15 for the minimum vacuum. You have logging intervals. This just means that it'll log every second. And recording status. So this thing can actually record the status of your vacuum. If for some reason your employer wants you to record that you really did pull a vacuum on that HVAC system and it held the vacuum for 10 minutes or whatever it is, this pump does have an option to record or log the whole vacuum process. And of course, if you're gonna be recording, you do need a date stamp and over here, you can change the time and the date. The last icon is system. And here it just shows you the running time of the pump, the holding time. You can adjust how long you want it to track for. So after you pull the vacuum, it's gonna hold it. The hold time is set to 10 minutes and that is adjustable. And those are all the features this unit has. The manual that it comes with is also really detailed. So if you do need some of these steps spelled out, how to do something, it's really detailed. You can find exactly how to do everything step by step by step inside the manual. And the last but not least is this little Bluetooth symbol right here, which means that you can hook up your phone to the vacuum pump. You download their app, which looks like this. Let me connect to it so you can see what it looks like. There you go and you can actually see everything on your phone. Here's that chart, the live chart, and pretty much all the options that we just went over, those are all on here as well. And what I really like is that you can actually turn the pump on and off using your phone. So if you have to go inside the house as you're working on an HVAC unit, or if you have to go away somewhere from it, you can see the progress, 
and you can also turn the pump on or off using your phone, which I think is really cool. So let's go ahead and press start. I have the cap on. The vacuum pump is isolated because I still have the cap on. And sometimes I like to do this just to make sure that the pump is good. Generally, if the pump is good, it should pull down to 50 microns pretty quickly with the cap on or basically the pump isolated. So right there, I have the cap on. I'm going to turn this unit on and the micron reading should drop down pretty quickly. So let's get back to our phone. I'll press play or start. And there it goes. Look at that, drop down really quick. Okay, I paused it. And before we continue, I wanna point out a little safety feature that this thing has to protect itself. If I press start, I can't press stop right away. And I also can't start it back up after I stop it. See the little countdown? So basically after I stop it, I have to wait for 10 seconds before I can start it up again. And that feature is just there to protect the pump from short cycling or basically having short on off periods. Okay, so back to our phone. Let's press read data and see what it logged. Oh, it's telling me I have to turn it off first. Okay, turn it off, read data. It loads it and there it is. And because the logging is done at intervals of one second, you can see every single second what the micron reading was until I turned it off. The app is easy to use and I think it's a pretty cool added feature. And those are most of the features that the Elitech vacuum pump has. If you're a technician that uses a vacuum pump often, I'd be really curious to know what do you look for in a vacuum pump? Which pump do you use and what did you think about this one? Unfortunately, right now here in Hawaii, I don't have a good opportunity to pull a vacuum on an actual AC unit. If the opportunity arises down the road, I'll make sure to film a video. But since it would be boring to just end the video like that, I got a little vacuum chamber right here. So we'll try using this pump and seeing how fast it can boil water inside of this little vacuum chamber. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the water inside of here. Here's the water. And no, it's not hot or anything. Put our cap on. And let's go ahead and turn our vacuum pump on as well. And as you can see, that didn't take long at all to boil. So let me take the hose off of here. Alrighty, so we released the vacuum, so I should be able to take the cap off now. There it is. And yikes, that is super hot. Wow. Don't worry, I was just kidding. It's actually cold. The water is not hot at all. And the concept behind this is, as the pressure goes down, the boiling temperature of the water goes down as well, so it actually starts to boil at room temperature. The longer it boils, the more the temperature goes down. And in theory, if you boil it long enough, the water will actually start to freeze. I always thought it's pretty darn cool how water will boil inside of a vacuum. In fact, I was thinking of making a video, an experimental video, where I put different things inside of that vacuum chamber and see what it does. Such as a bag of chips or a water bottle or an orange, just anything to see what it'll do when it's put under a vacuum. 
Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see something like that. Anyway guys, that is all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, did you know that on most cars, the gas gauge, on the bottom of it, it actually has an arrow of where the gas tank is at. Is it the left side or the right side? I did not know that until today. Thought I would share it with you as well.